So, we've all heard of BBLs, and everyone from rappers, rappers' girlfriends, and influencers have them, and now everyday women are starting to get them. If you want to know how to build you a BBL body in the gym, keep watching. <laughs> little baby walker, doing his little stretching. Let's get into this. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tierra Q, and we're we'll back with another video. And as you can tell by this title, we all know that BBLs, or Brazilian butt lips, have taken over this scene. You see them in social media, you see video girls, like IG models, like everyone is getting BBLs. And it's really starting to like affect like the body image or the body standard because now in a sense you feel compelled to kind of fit this mode of what it is. And because I even find myself like I've always wanted to be more curvy because that's always been the norm to be more curvy for where I've come from, even more um, prevalent now in today's society. So I was thinking that I would give my version, <laughs> I would give my version of a BBL. But I was thinking how can I help the girls who want to fit into this body image, but one simply can't afford it or two don't want to get surgery. So if this is you, this is the video for you. I'm going to be giving you my full body BBL workout. I'm going to be calling it Bestie Better List and we're going to get it done. So let's get into it. But first, we have to talk about when we think of a BBL or Brazilian butt lift, there's three components that I think about. I think about a teeny, teeny waist. I think about rounded hips, and then I think about a really shelf form, big booty lotion booty. So that is gonna be the components that we're gonna focus on in this full body workout. And I just wanna give the disclaimer that no way am I saying that you have to look this way, that you have to have this certain body image because we already know that body standards, beauty standards never had us in mind. And, but I'm saying if you do want to have a smaller waist, if you do wanna to try to have rounder hips, or if you do want to grow your glutes, this is a video for you and we're about to get into it. So let's wrap this up so I can shut up, drink my pre-workout, and then we're going to get into this BBL workout. Let's get it. You already know we're starting off with some mobility movements and some stretching. This is going to be very integral for your recovery and you being able to perform the workouts that we're going to do proficiently and I want you to really focus on opening up those hips and making sure that they're good so you're not tensing up you're not sore or anything like that so get it done I don't know how many times I have to tell you guys this so whenever I was recording this I did not realize that I had my mic on so you're gonna hear the commentary real life commentary that happens to me at the gym what the but fuck? for our snatched waist we're going to be training our back and i know i've talked about this and i have a full back day routine that is on my youtube so check that out but this is going to be integral to getting you that tiny waist i know we get caught up in like training for core training for core but this is going to help you to get that shape that hourglass shape so we're going to start with some table lat pull downs and i really want you to focus on your form and keeping your core engaged I'm just trying to save my dignity. I had to face it. You're wasting my time. Yeah. You are so stuck in your ways. Don't know how much I can take. Some say I gotta be patient. Cause room wasn't built in a day. Okay, so I really used to hate dumbbell rolls. I would just rather do it on a machine. But whenever I started to do these on a bench in a decline, I think it's a decline, I started to feel it more. And I really feel it in my upper back. That's what it's going to be targeting it. And it also is going to also work out your arms as well. So go slow and controlled. Pick a wet heat that is comfortable for you and get it done. Now we're working on our rounded hips and we're going to be doing some lateral leg raises 
We are going to be doing this on the cable machine. You'll need some type of ankle strap to connect to the machine. And I really want you to focus on like maybe a slight little bend forward, not too crazy. And just like bringing your leg out and you're really going to feel it in that hip area. And it's going to target that gluteus medius type of portion of your hips or your booty. That's going to give you that appearance of more rounded hips. And if you don't have a gym or you don't feel comfortable doing this on this machine, you can also do this with a resistance band. And I will show you that as well. You can put it around your thighs or your quads, or if you want, you can put one also at the bottom around your ankle to get more resistance to really target that area. But it's really up to you. Now we're working on that booty. You already know there was going to be some type of hip thrust or cast bridge in this video. We already know. It's my favorite workout for growing your glutes. Um, yeah. And there's no need to really talk about it too much. We are going to increase in weight. So you're going to start off at a lower weight. And you're going to work your way up to a higher weight. And yeah, get it done. But I'm sober Friends are hit me up They be like Who this? I don't know I don't really care That cause the kisses It's like summer All I really wanna know Is when you coming over Got me in my feelings Acting crazy But I'm sober Friends are hit me up They be like Who this? I don't know I don't really care That cause the kisses It's like summer All I really wanna know Is when you coming over I fuck with you And all the lines That I done draw You've been embracing Every usually The one I'm gonna regret it <laughs> what the fuck and we're back at the cable machine we're going to be doing some cable kickbacks but we're going to be changing our angle and we're going to be kicking outward at a 45 degree angle and this is really also going to help you target that gluteus medius to really build that shelf booty that we all i believe all maybe majority i don't know what you want like and it's going to help to minimize the appearance of hip dips in a way but i want you to know that there's nothing wrong with hip dips they're genetic they're beautiful they are what they are but if you want to kind of minimize it this workout is really good for it And we're going to end this workout with some banded bridges. Um, 
I don't know why I'm underneath this pad. I would want you guys to be flat on the floor to get a better angle. Maybe if I had something to lift my feet up a little bit, I would have felt it more. But I still felt it. I just wanted to feel it even more. This is also has the resistance band. And I'm also adding a weight to it for more weight. Yeah. So you're going to make sure you're squeezing at the top of the exercise and lowering it down. And that's one repetition. Go forth and build that booty. But all I gotta say back is if I gotta choose me, I won't be afraid to. If I gotta choose me, I gotta do what I gotta do. When I love you, I lose me. No, I can't be attached to you. I like me better when I was yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going. So I wanted to share some photos and videos of what I looked like before I started to incorporate these sets of workouts into my regimen. So I just want to caveat by saying like my stats so you understand my sentiment on why I felt the way that I needed to change. I'm only 5'1 and at this time I was pushing 148 damn near 150. That's too much weight for my small frame. I was like out of shape and i was carrying a lot of naturally my body deposit fat in a lot of good places however i had a lot of back fat i had a lot of tummy fat and my butt was like i guess shapely but it wasn't the shape that i wanted it to look it wasn't defined or anything and now when i incorporate these workouts this is what i'm looking like now I'm still working on my hourglass, but my waist is visibly smaller. My butt is more shelf-like and more round and firm and plump. It's more appealing to me. And my hips are starting to be more rounded and not just like unsightly and unshapely. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you some before and after so you can really hone in on why I think you guys should try these out. from you and your body and your rights like do what you feel is best for you so if you feel that surgery is the best way for you do what you need to do but if you want to take the time to try to build the body you want i am here for you what knowledge i know you know i'm at college for you and we're going to figure this shit together